hello everyone in this video we are going to um, understand bit plane slicing along with its matlab code so digitally an image is represented in terms of pixels and these pixels can be expressed further in terms of bits the gray level of each pixel in a digital image is stored as one or more bytes in a computer for example an 8 bit uh, for an 8 bit image 0 is encoded in terms of 8 zeros and 255 is encoded as 8 ones similarly any number between 0 to 255 is encoded within this one byte or it is represented in its binary format using this 8 bits the bit in the far left side is referred as the most significant bit or MSB and why is it called most significant bit because a change in that bit will significantly change the value encoded by the complete byte what does it mean now let's um, take an example suppose uh, we will consider the intensity value 255 which is expressed in terms of 8 ones in the binary format so suppose the most significant bit which is 1 is changed to 0 so now it is like this so when the most significant bit is changed to 0 then what will be the intensity value that that can that is represented by this complete byte so this one is 127 now can can you see the difference so when you change the msb it affects the most but the least significant bit which is the bit um, at the far right or rightmost bit suppose you are considering uh, 8 bits then the rightmost bit is known as the least significant bit and why is it called least significant bit because a change in this bit does not change the encoded gray value much now coming to bit plane slicing it is a method of representing an image with one or more bits of the byte used for each pixel so here is the bit plane representation of an 8 bit digital image so see uh, each bit uh, each plane each bit plane is represented here so as we are considering 8 bit image so for each bit there will be one plane so um, 0th bit plane is shown over here and the most significant bit plane is this the topmost one now here in bit plane slicing we will highlight the contribution made by specific bits towards the total image appearance so as i have said in bit plane slicing we are dividing the image into bit planes okay so this is done by first converting the pixel values in binary form then after converting the pixel values into binary form then we will divide it into different bit planes so let us take an example so for simplicity i have considered a 3 uh, cross 3 image and uh, it is a 3 bit image that means each pixel value is represented with 3 bits so the minimum intensity value will be 0 which will be represented by 0 0 0 and the maximum intensity value for a 3 bit image will be 7 and it is represented by 1 1 1 right so this first matrix this one suppose this one is the original image and um, the values at each position represents the intensities fine so as i have said the first step in bit plane slicing is converting these pixel values into the binary format so let us con uh, convert it into binary format so here um, at each position the binary value of the corresponding pixel value has been 
written here fine now after getting the binary values we will divide it into bit planes so first let us consider the most significant bits okay that means uh, from each position we will consider the msb and the we will form the matrix okay so from this position the most significant bit is 0 so we have taken 0 again here the most significant bit is 0 so that has been written here here also the th uh, th like most significant bit is 0 so that has been placed here so but uh, second row first column so for this position the most significant bit is 1 so that has been written here so similarly uh, for this first matrix uh, to form this um, you know uh, MSB bit plane, we will uh, consider the MSP bit from this particular matrix. Okay. So, similarly, uh, obtain the matrix for the least significant bits and then for the center bit, this is the matrix. Okay. So, here we have separated different bit planes. Fine. So, this is uh, this is an examples, uh, example where we are considering only three bits fine but um, but while uh, you know um, programming we will consider eight bit image so if you understand this one understanding uh, bit plane slicing for eight bit image won't be difficult so uh, let us um, write the code for bit plane slicing so for this I need only two libraries that is numpy and cb2 okay then first we have to read that image so for reading that image you can use imread from cb2 and you have to put the whole path here and as I am considering the grayscale image here so that's why I have written 0 here fine then here I have shown the original image so this is the dollar image and here it is an 8 bit image ok now as the second step we have to convert this pixel values into binary values so for that what I have done is I have cons um, considered one uh, array and denoted it as least then for each position in that image so she uh, see here here image dot shape 0 and image dot shape 1 that means I am traversing through the rows and columns one by one ok so for that I am converting each pixel values into the binary format using the numpy library np dot binary repr ok then image ij that means pixel value at position ij and it is a 8 bit image here width means number of bits ok so it has now after writing down this you know command each pixel va value will be converted into its 8 bit binary equivalent and it is stored in the variable lst fine now lst I mean suppose image is having a size of 500 cross suppose 1024 if this is the size of the image then the size of LST variable will be multiply this two thing and uh, the size of the um, this variable will be that much ok. Now after converting into binary format we will extract the bit planes and we will reshape and reconstruct to obtain the bit or obtain the images corresponding to the bit plane ok. So see here uh, consider uh, only the first one if you understand the first you know um, sentence I um, mean first line of code then you will uh, understanding uh, and rest are only the repetitions for different planes. So first uh, is the 8 bit, bit plane. Um, so, here 
so for each element in the variable list lst so i am considering only the eighth bit okay and um, for uh, see so suppose uh, your uh, you know suppose consider one pixel value suppose 255 and its binary representation is 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 so suppose um, you want to I mean, uh, extract uh, the bit plane and uh, this most significant bit plane and you want to convert it into the image format so first when you obtain uh, want to obtain this bit plane so at that time what will be the uh, corresponding uh, you know intensity values value so here so this is 2 to the power 0 2 to the power 1 2 to the power 2 similarly at this position it is 2 to the power n minus 1 so here n is 8 so it will be 2 to the power 7 so here 1 will be multiplied with 2 to the power 7 okay so similarly if this most significant bit will be 0 if it is 1 then this much if it is 0 then it will be 0 into 2 to the power 7 fine so 2 to the power 7 is 128 fine so that is what has been done here so that's why when we are considering the most significant bit plane we are multiplying 128 with the bit value okay and if we are considering the uh, second uh, or we can say seventh bit seventh most I mean like more this bit so here we will multiply 2 to the power 6 over here so that is equals to 64 similarly we will find out you know the you know the corresponding integer value uh, for each bit plane because uh, if you extract this bits so what will happen you will get the values in ones and zeros but um, to visualize a image an image you need to convert it into the corresponding pixel value so that is why it has been multiplied okay then again as i have told list is an array okay so after the after up to this much you are you have extracted a particular bit and uh, you have converted it into the integer format then you need to reshape the array or the you know one dimensional matrix into the which is um, reshape into the size of the your image okay so this uh, suppose this is your uh, you know some x um, x y z cross the size of the matrix is x y z cross 1 then you need to convert into m cross n which is the size of your image so that for that purpose image dot i mean uh, this reshape function has been used okay now after that so you need to visualize your image okay so for visualizing the image or to display the image i will use i am show function from cv2 library okay and for better visualization here i have normalized the image okay so without normalization what will happen i can show you while running this particular program okay so these are the output for different bit planes so this is this one is the original image and the second one this correspond to this correspond to the image of bit plane i mean the least significant bit plane or suppose bit plane uh, suppose we'll consider the bit plane starting from 0 to 7 either you consider it from 0 to 7 or from 1 to 8 so as far as the program that i have considered i have written 1 to 8 so here i will write from 1 to 8 so this is the least significant bit that means plane bit plane 1 similarly this is bit plane 2 this one is bit plane 3 this is bit plane 
4, this is bit plane 5, this correspond to bit plane 6, this is 7 and this one is the most significant bit that is bit plane 8. Okay. So, see which bit plane contains the maximum information, maximum visual information. So, the most significant bit contains the maximum visual information. Okay. So, what is the, uh, how this bit plane slicing will be useful in image compression? So, separating a digital image into its bit plane is useful for analyzing the relative importance of that particular plane for the whole image implying it determines the adequacy of numbers of bit that can be used to quantize each pixel that is useful for compression. So, if I um, say it in a simpler manner then the most significant bit contains the majority of the visual data and similarly the middle bits they contribute more to the sub subtle details of the image. Similarly, the, the least information is con, uh, contributed by the least significant bit plane. So, what I will do I can reconstruct the whole image only by constructing the upper bit plane. Suppose I will consider bit plane 6, 7 and 8. Suppose 5, 6, 7, seven 8 I will uh, consider. So, only considering this bit plane I can reconstruct my whole image. Okay, So, I do not need the information contained in the bit plane 1 to 4. So, in other words I can say I am reducing the you know information. So, it is uh, it can be useful for image compression. So, that is what has been written here. So, one can use only MSB to represent the pixel which reduces the original gray level to binary image. So, how this statement has been written? So, see. So, whenever you are considering only the you know um, uh, MSB bit plane so, suppose it is either, um, uh, suppose uh, the value is 255 and um, one value is there, suppose 127, suppose. So, 255 is 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 127 is 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So, whenever you are con considering only the 8th bit plane or the MSB, or so what will happen so the binary after only cons after considering the uh, most significant bit plane so here the value corresponding to this 255 will be 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 okay so i am considering only the most significant bit and rest bit will be 0. Similarly, this what will be this one? So, this will be all zeros. Okay. So, all the values in between 0 to 127 will be equals to 0 and rest of the values that is from 128 to 255 will be how much? It will be equals to 128. So, Uh, I am sorry, it will be equals to yeah, 128. So, the whole image will be having only two values either 0 or 128. Okay, So, we can consider that image to be a binary, I mean, uh, binary valued image which is only having only two values either 0 or 128. Okay. So, the three, I mean uh, the two main goals uh, of bit plane slicing is converting a gray level image to binary image. I have explained the process and representing an image with fewer bits and, corres and corresponding the Im I mean the corresponding image will be having a smaller size. Now, now we will uh, see the code for image reconstruction using fewer number of bits. So, here I will combine uh, the bit planes 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. So, that is what I have written here. So, here the output image 
has been stored in the variable new image and here I have added the 8 bit plane, 7 bit plane, 6 and 5 bit plane. Okay. Then uh, here I am displaying, uh, displaying the original image as well as the you know the reconstructed image. So see here this one is the original image and this image correspond to uh, like addition of 4 bit planes that is 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 ok. So see now can you uh, like uh, if you see it just like that you won't be able to visualize any difference between these two images but if you see it more carefully let me zoom it. So see this portions the portions here and here and let us compare the same position portions over here. So, can you see the difference? So, this part is little bit degraded, okay. But the maximum information has been retained, okay. So, if there is no information in this region, then we can consider this image as a you know valid image, okay. So, here I can say that storing this four frames instead of the original image will require less space. So, thus it can be used for image compression. Now, uh, whatever code I have shown you, I will run it in my Zupiter and I will show you the outputs. This is the code for uh, bitmap plane slicer. So, here I will run this code cell by cell. So, if I ru am running the first cell, so here I am displaying the original image and the size of this image is 500 cross 1192. Then after that, I will convert all the pixels into binary values and store that in a list in this second cell. So, when I am running it, so the list is generated and to see different properties of the list I have written few lines of commands. So I am just running it to see the size of the list. So see the size of the list is 596000. So this one is just the multiplication of 500 with 1192. Now to see different values in the list, I have just printed it. So see here the values are just the binary representation of the pixel values. Okay. Now in the next cell, I have extracted different bit planes and reshaped it. I mean that is in the form of a list. So I have to reshape it to the which will be equals to the size of the image. So that has been done here. Then after that, I will display uh, the images corresponding to each bit plane in this cell. So see here, the results are here. So this is bit plane 7. This one is bit plane 6. Bit plane 5. Bit plane 4, bit plane 3, this is bit plane 2, and this is bit plane 1, and this is bit plane 0. Okay, so if you see, bit plane 0 has least visual uh, information as compared to the higher order bit plane. So after that, I'll try to uh, reconstruct the image combining the four higher order bit planes. So that has been done in this last cell. So when I will run this cell, so, so here I have combined bit plane, I um, mean four higher order bit planes. So these are the results. Okay. So if you can see, um, the reconstructed image is almost similar to the original input image.